To carve each unique spring plate, a cutler starts by placing them in a vise. With the metal stabilized, the cutler can focus on carving with the aid of powerful magnifiers. The tungsten carbide drill bits he uses are no larger than four tenths of a millimeter. No wonder the details on each spring are so precise. To temper the steel, the cutler heats it to 1,030 degrees Celsius for several minutes. Next, he cools it suddenly in a bath of oil. He will then heat it to 230 degrees Celsius for one hour to complete the process. This manufacturer makes the knife handles from different materials, including antlers, wood, and bone. When making a handle from bone, a cutler starts by slicing it into sections with a specialized blade. He then cuts the slices into smaller sections that approximate the sides of a knife handle. Cutlers can use the bone with its natural color or immerse it in a stain for several hours. All of the components for this Layol pocket knife are complete. The cutler uses a belt sander to give the spring a light sanding. Next, using the same tool, he begins working the bone handle components. With the framework of the knife as a template, he carefully reduces both of the components to their required dimensions, achieving a perfect fit. With the metal as a guide, he uses a drill press to pierce holes in the bone. With the practiced hand of a skilled artisan, the cutler drills the famed Shepherd's Cross pattern by eye. The Shepherd's Cross is another signature of Layol knives. The cutler connects the spring to the components known as scales, which form the internal structure of the knife. To join the parts, he inserts stainless steel pins and hammers them flat on either side to hold them firmly in place. He inserts short lengths of thin steel wire into the holes drilled to form the shepherd's cross. He now begins adding the bone side covers, which will form the knife handle. He carefully screws the bone covers securely to the scales from the inside with three stainless steel screws per side. He then snips off the ends of the screws that protrude. Now he can install the Damascus steel blade. He does this by inserting a stainless steel pin through the hinge hole. Teflon washers will keep the opening and folding operation smooth and functional. The cutler uses a specialized clamp to grip the knife as he installs the pin at the back of the spring. This pin, together with the one that holds the blade, are the two essential elements of the Lyon knife mechanism. With a belt sander, the cutler now refines the handle, smoothing the pins and rounding the edges of the bone covers. A final polish gives the bone a shiny finish that highlights the iconic shepherd's cross, an innovation introduced to allow shepherds to celebrate mass even when far from a church. A cutler puts an extra fine edge on the finished knife with the help of a belt sander with a fine grit sandpaper. The cutler makes several passes on a piece of leather with a practiced hand to give the knife its final edge. The knife is now ready to join the legendary company of other Layol pocket knives and peel a ripe apple or slice some aged cheese. Bon appétit!